Jason Rona back here with J Concepts. We're here today with Fred Reap, and today we're here in the J Concepts garage to talk a little bit about uh, some new tires and wheels pre mounted for the Traxxas UDR and the Arma Mojave vehicle. So, um, you know, Fred, we work on a ton of different projects here. Um, you know, we, we wanted to bring something to these uh, pretty unique uh, trophy truck. Uh, desert truck combinations that both Traxxas and Arma have and uh, you know you know you do a lot of bashing with your RC stuff uh, you know when you go out with the monster trucks and doing freestyle and everything else but you know talk to us about what you see with these kind of vehicles here and you know kind of the need for the bashing kind of tire and stuff that can kind of go the distance and you know just when you look at these vehicles and how they're equipped and powered they, they need some help. Yeah, they're uh, really cool. Uh, the compounds on them are usually very, very hard and stiff. These here are a little bit softer and a different you know, tread pattern, of course. Just give it a little extra more grip. But, the, you know, these really big, heavy trucks, you know, they're really super scale inside. A lot of nice detail. And uh, the way we did these up and mocked them up really nice kind of gives it that more of that one one look with the higher performance. Yeah, you know, I mean, what we did is we have the, the landmines tire that have been really popular for us in the the scaling the crawling world and you know it really lends itself to a really nice all-terrain tire as well and you know when you have a truck you know like the UDR or the Mojave uh, you know you're taking this thing in, into a bunch of different surfaces I mean you're going dirt grass gravel you know you know when we drive this you know when we've dri drove these outside I mean that's kind of what you end up doing is you're just going in a you know in a in a grouping of just all kinds of different terrain right mm -hmm. yeah very you need a real aggressive tread you know something that's going to last long as well and then we went with these yellow compound that we have on here so uh yeah they've been tried and true in different different applications so we went with it on these uh trophy trucks yeah so you know one of the things we did with this is we we had our uh, pro driver ryan mayfield we we sent him some of these trucks and you know he's been out uh, with the family when they go camping or they're they're out and about uh, nice area in, in Arizona to do a lot of you know outdoor stuff all terrain type uh, conditions so you know he takes this UDR out they bash it uh, run it with um, you know with the kids and and just see what this thing is made out of and uh, you know that's kind of why we arrived at running with the yellow compound it's a little bit harder but still soft enough to kind of take care of uh, the traction needs when you need it uh, we went with the tremor wheels which uh, have a, a mock beadlock look. Uh, they actually assemble, um, you know, with screws on the inside for the hub. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, but they're glued and they're pre-mounted. Uh, we have these available as pre-mounted options. And, you know, Fred, when you've got a vehicle like this, uh, sometimes there's nothing better than just pulling them out of the package going for a pre-mounted set. You know? Right, yeah, it's always nice to have that easy button. Anytime you can just break open the package and slap them on, it's that's... A godsend. <laughs> so what's nice about these two vehicles is they're, you know, kind of comparable in a sense. You know, the size, the weight, uh, they are built differently. Uh, but what we had to do here is we were able to use the same tire for both trucks, but we had uh, two different wheels. Uh, the UDR is uh, specific to that vehicle, the wheel, the tremor wheel that we made for it. And then the tremor wheel that we made for the Mojave or uh, is a different wheel and a different offset and they use kind of a different hub combination on here right. Fred we obviously different uh, lock nut on the outside mm -hmm. you know this is the Mojave is more of a eight scale style yeah 17 millimeter eight scale type design you know and the UDR is a little more of a traditional you know Traxxas uh, fit that they go for there and you know on the on the UDR there's some actual mock brake components on that truck that we actually ask in the instruction to remove so you get maximum clearance when you're turning and you know just the end the general driving of the vehicle because uh you know that thing is so equipped with many scale looking items mm -hmm. but we wanted to no compromise on the wheel and tire application right right yeah when you're running at 60 miles an hour around it's uh you're not going to see the little brake calipers in there you want the actually the wheel to perform yeah so that's you know that's what we did there and you know we felt like the the tire the landmines itself was going to work really well uh with the tread pattern like we said you're going to go from you know one condition to another consistently so uh, we wanted to go with something like that and uh, kind of the tried and true 
uh, type of tread pattern that we're using at the moment, you know, in scale and, and crawling. And it really just kind of works uh, so well, you know, back on these vehicles because you get the grip of the yellow, you get some separated tread uh, with the landmines design, uh, but you still get a good kind of a wearing uh, characteristic out of the, the compound and the tread together. Right. Yeah. You got to have that total package. You know, when you're running these things as hard as you can, you got, you need the tire to reform and, you know, we kind of, you want a little bit softer side on the compound for a little more traction, but you don't want it to wear out. So where this, where this yellow compound works great. Yeah. And you know, we, we had this tremor wheel, which we came out with for the slash two wheel drive and the slash four wheel drive, you know, a couple of years ago, but you know, we kind of move that into this uh, category. Obviously it's a whole different wheel, but uh, we kind of kept that styling going, you know, especially on the UDR version, kind of has a mock beadlock around the outside. And then on the Mojave, we uh, made some adjustments because there's a different kind of hub that bolts in on this. And uh, we, we built the, the beadlock style kind of into the wheel uh, on this one. So it's still one piece. The other, you know, kind of bolts together, but we're going with the same style here on both. Yeah, same style, same, you know, look, but, you know, it's ultimately same performance. So we're going to kind of dive in here to another body, which is mm -hmm. the, the Power Master. Uh, this was a body that, you know, we, we debuted a few months ago uh, at, a, um, at a crawling event. You know, Rich went up there for us, and uh, we wanted to have something new. Um, you know, you worked on this project with us, uh, you know, between... Uh, some 3D printed items we threw on this thing mm -hmm. with the uh, the mirrors, the handles, and uh, but the body itself, we kind of went for you know we kind of stripped down, uh, kind of got down to the basics of what has made our creep body successful yep. and works well. Uh, but we wanted to bring a little different look, and uh, we you know we made a lot of modifications to to this style, but we kind of arrived at this at this look and. And then you've kind of finished it off with the 3D printed items and and uh, obviously the 12.3 wheelbase, mm -hmm. super popular. You know, we kind of hit those over and over, you know, the TRX4, the Axial, the Associated, or the Element RC stuff. You know, we're kind of keeping uh, with those chassis. Of course, everyone modifies them however they like, but yeah. in general, that's the wheelbase we're shooting for. And, uh, you know, Fred, you kind of worked on this thing a little bit. And uh, talk to us about, you know, kind of detailing this thing out with some of the 3D printed items. But then, you know, just the body itself. Yeah, the body itself is really, really nice. You know, a lot of people now, that's kind of all the rage is the, the classic look. People want the classic look on these uh, crawler trucks or trail trucks. You know, really, uh, you know, takes you a, a step back in history there. And then uh, the accessories, you know, really great item. A lot of guys really loving on these uh, accessories now. So, uh you know, whenever we can or have an extra five minutes to draw something up, we'll do some mirrors and handles and headlights and things like that. But uh, yeah, for the longest time, I had this thing sitting on a monster truck. So I think you monster truck guys are really going to love it too. It's a nice classic monster truck look. Yeah, you know, there's, um, you know, the size of these things, sometimes they kind of work out that mm -hmm. way where they will kind of carry over back and forth. But, you know, with this one, we, we really wanted to target this truck. Uh, we set this one up here. Uh, you know, with the red color body, uh, we went with the hunk tires and the hazard wheels. And, you know, you've obviously spent a lot of time with the hazard mm -hmm. metal wheels that we have and the weights inside and everything else. But uh, the hunk tire, you know, we put that on there because it's one that not everyone sees all the time. You know, everyone sees the landmines, the tusk and, and, and all these uh, different tires we have. But, you know, we put these tires on and, uh, you know, they have an aggressive look and a nice I think it really works with this truck pretty well. Yeah, you kind of want that one one little more uh, look to these. You know, a, a great performing tire, and uh, again, it gives it that really aggressive, tough look. That kind of completes the whole package here on this truck. Yeah, you know, they did a lot of trail running with this with this truck at the event, um, and you know, it got out there, and you know, we had many different you know schemes. You know, we kind of got uh, the the one to shine here. They had the ones to grind, the mm -hmm. ones you, you put out there on the course, and you get the trucks dirty and notchy. And, uh, but that's that's part of the game. Yeah, it's part of the game. You know, they're going to look banged up. You know, a lot of these guys purposely make them look banged up. And, again, it just adds, you know, whatever your fun is, that's what you can do with this truck. So going back to the wheels on here, the hazards, you know, like you said, you, you, know, you worked on these a lot. You know, mm -hmm. we, we packaged them up. 
a lot of detail, a lot of screws with these wheels. We have uh, weights in, uh, available and inside. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's a big package of product there. When it's assembled on the truck, you don't really see it, but got a lot going on with this wheel. Yeah, totally tunable with the weights. You can run, you know, as many weights as you want around it. I think it's up to four weights in this one. And then uh, just the look, it's a lot of work went into the look. You know, we have a kind of a, a sandblasted finish in between the spokes, and then you have the high polished around, so it really makes that wheel pop. So going into, you know, um, moving along here, we wanted to bring something else to the attention, which was, uh, you know, you talk about wrenching, you talk about the tools. Uh, we got to, you want to incorporate this tool holder that we have now, uh, you know, with, um, all the tools that everyone has in the pits now, mm -hmm. uh, the organization, you know, is just off the charts for a lot of the racers. They like to organize their pit area, you know, like, like a surgeon, but you know, this, uh, this tool holder thing, you know, there's been so many different combinations of the upright holder, you know, where you put the, you know, the wrench in there, uh, kind of vertical position with the tips pointing straight up. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've always kind of felt like, even though you probably, you know, this is never going to happen, but it always looks dangerous to me, you know, with all the, the sharp tips standing up. So, right. um, you know, we realized that the racers out there love organizing their tools, having this set up. So we went with this, um, you know, this different design on the tool holder itself where we kind of turn the tools around, we kind of fan them out, mm -hmm. uh, kind of that you know, that turkey look, uh, to the, to the tools. But, um, you know, from someone that wrenches a lot, you know, you use these tools all the time and kind of looking this over, putting them together, uh, talk to us about the tool holder a little bit. Yeah. Just always when you're working in the pit, especially when you're racing, you want your tools in a particular manner to where you can get to them and access them quickly. This here with this particular design with the handles pointed up to you you know it's nice just to go in there and grab it just eliminates another step of flipping the tool around your hand so you know it makes it a little quicker sometimes when you're in a race you have to make a quick repair you got to know where your tools are all the time so you get in there grab and it's right there ready for you and you know the other thing we wanted to incorporate into this uh was the base you know it's a mm -hmm. it's a machined aluminum base and we have pockets in there so you know when you're in the pit area and you are wrenching or using body clips or whatever you're using, you have some space to kind of put some uh, some of the little necessities out there. And, you know, maybe you're working on some, you know, grease or, you know, anything that you want to set aside but not really keep in your general area. Right. You just want that little catch-all place. I mean, we lose body clips here, there, and everywhere all the time. So it's a good place to throw your body clips if you're, uh, you know, using those and, uh yeah, your screws, taking something apart, you have a nice little tray or area to put that stuff in. Keep it organized, keep it from falling on the ground and losing it forever. You know, so we got it here, obviously, in race mode or, you know, that you'd have in your pits. But it is collapsible and there is a storage mode to it, you mm -hmm. know, where all the items come together. The longer screws go through and, and attach. And so it can kind of tuck away if you're, if you're, you know, traveling or going here and there racing. Yeah, it's nice to be able to break down the stuff and get it into a nice tight package when you're trying to load up and head across country. All right, well, thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're talking a little bit of basher vehicles here and then obviously into the scale off-road with uh, the Power Master and the tool holder. So thanks for joining us. Uh, remember to uh, you know like, like us on Facebook. Of course, uh, like the video, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you again soon. See you next time.